everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh gosh, it's so nice to be back after a long time. Welcome to my tutorial on how to draw face. You have been asking for more art tutorials, so I finally managed to film another one. I was so happy when I saw your positive reactions on my previous art tutorial. I've also made the timestamps there in the description below, so you can skip to whichever part you want to watch. Before we begin, be sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on my socials. Okay, so let's start. There are many different ways and methods to draw faces. When drawing a face, you have to consider its proportions and basic shape of a face. It's better to draw from a reference because it gives you a clear perspective on proportions and different face shapes. Today I'm using a Faber-Castell graphite pencil for my base and a Copic marker. The easiest way of drawing faces for you is to start with front view. So I always start with the circle. The size of a circle tells us how big is the head. Draw a vertical line down in the middle of a circle and then one horizontal line in the middle as well. What is crucial now for you to remember is proportion of a face. Our circle is now divided on four identical pieces, but we will focus on these two halves. I usually place my two fingers to measure the third half, like this. So the third half represents the end of our chin. The first half represents forehead. And the second half represents our chin area. I will now draw another line under this first half. I usually draw lines a little bit curved. This gives more realistic feeling to a face. This is just my personal preference. I've seen lots of tutorials where people were drawing face shape first and then moving on to the nose, eyes and so on. So we're gonna draw three circles, one bigger and two smaller circles. The end of our smaller circle tells us where eyes are positioned and bigger circle tells us where eyebrows are. The smaller the circle is, the pointier and narrower the nose is. on to the eyebrows. I always draw them above line 2. There are so many different eyebrow shapes. Eyebrow shape plays an important role in face expression. Let me explain this on photo example. If eyebrows are higher, then face tends to look happier, brighter, and if eyebrows are lower, then the look is more mysterious and dark. I like more mysterious looks, so I tend to draw lower brows. When drawing the eyes, I like to start with a basic leaf shape. I like to draw the outer corner a little bit higher, this is why I previously mentioned this curved line, so this full appearance looks younger. So the next thing I'm gonna do is a small circle in the middle which represents the iris. Above eyes are eyelids. They can be bigger or smaller. The shape of the eyelids also direct the shape of eyes whether they are upturned or downturned. 
When drawing the mouth, I start with the line in between nose and the chin. Now that we have a baseline for our mouth, we can draw a V-shape on top and U-shape below our baseline, like this. I usually draw bigger fuller lips because it looks more realistic. Just my preference, but you can do smaller lips as well. When I draw female face, I prefer to draw more chiseled, sharp jaw, but of course you can play around with round, oval, triangle shapes. Moving on to the hairline. Female faces have softer, less defined hairline, so we're gonna draw a softer line above forehead. And then draw your preferred hairstyle. Now let's move on to the ears. The ears are positioned right below the line too. You can see they are in the same line as the eyebrows. I will draw a C shape and then you can adjust the shape to your liking. My favorite part, part 3, shading.
finished. That's it. So, when drawing faces, try to exaggerate features way beyond their boundaries to see what you can create. More about face features and characters soon on my channel. So yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to a front view of a face. I will definitely do more art tutorials in the future, so be ready. Okay, so now guess what will be my next video about? Okay, I will just tell you then. My next video, which I will upload next Sunday, will be how to make money as an artist. Oh gosh, I'm super excited for this one and I hope you are too. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I do and thank you so much for watching. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more creative content and feel free to share this video. If you want to get updates every time I post a new video, click that bell icon as well. If you have any questions or if you have suggestions for my future videos, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye!